Hi everyone, welcome to the Imaging Study YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about the gender determination by ultrasound. This video is for educational purpose only. It's made only for medical professionals. I highly recommend you to watch this for study purpose or for experience. Please do not misuse your knowledge. This video was previously uploaded on my YouTube channel, which unfortunately got hacked on December 2019. This one is updated with new images and videos. Please do not inbox me for gender determination. I even didn't expose my baby's gender to my wife. If you need to know your fetal gender, please contact with your doctor. He will decide whether he should tell you or not, according to your country law. This lecture contains few topics, including Should I do it? Prepared time for gender determination Techniques and common confusions How to overcome confusions And lots of practice cases If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Follow us on other social platforms. All the links are given on the description below. Gender determination by ultrasound is unlawful in some countries like India due to high incidence of induced abortion. You should know your country law before doing sex determination. Some countries have ultrasound studios who offer sex determination with ultrasound and hire sonographers skilled on this topic. I was requested repeatedly to make this video for my country doctors who have the history of getting tortured if they fail to determine the fetal gender. Though we have got recent instruction to not determine fetal gender by code, we are still waiting for an official law to save our rural doctors. As the incidence of induced abortions after knowing female fetus is still very rare here, authority is not focusing on this matter much. Gender determination is clinically important to exclude varieties of structural and chromosomal abnormalities and we routinely check it during anomaly scans. Now, when should we scan for gender determination? Some studios offer gender determination using 3D or 4D ultrasound in early second trimester. But according to some authors, it has an error rate of around 50%. Before 16 weeks, clitoris and penis look same in size, causing a high error rate. In our practice, we can detect gender in 90 to 95% of cases after 16 weeks of gestation. But patient parties should not get informed at this age. In rural areas, pregnant patients are very much neglected. If you tell them the gender, they will not come to hospital before labor. 20 to 30 weeks is the best time to see fetal gender. After 30 weeks, it might be difficult to see the fetal gender due to adducted hip or foot over the genitalia. Never expose fetal gender after 36 weeks. If it's male, then the patient will go for caesarean section without any definite indication. It may not be applicable in developed countries, but it's common in underdeveloped countries. If it's female, whatever the indication is, the patient will try to avoid caesarean section and will go home. Now, how we can scan? In my opinion, you have to be expert on femoral length. After getting the femur, try to find out the V-shaped coronal section of the fetal thigh. Now look at the angle between two thighs and fetal perineum behind that. Now search for the projected area obliterating the angle representing the total sign. It is actually the fetal penis and the gender is male. Now see on real time, this is the penis of the baby. We can see the femur and thigh in coronal section and the projected area coming out from the perineum indicating the fetal gender as male. 
Now what about the female fetus? If you find the angle clear and three echogenic lines at the perineum, then it's a female baby. Two outer hyperechogenic lines are vaginal walls and one prominent inner echogenic line is the vaginal lining. This three echogenic line pattern is commonly known as sandwich sign. Now see on real time, this is the angle you can see three hyperechogenic lines at the perineum region indicating the vagina and so this is a female fetus. So it's quite easy. But unfortunately, in most of the cases, you will find the triple line and you know what it is going to be, but suddenly you will see the turtle too. These are the three hyperechogenic lines and something is coming out from this angle, making us confused about the fetal gender. Now, what's actually going on? If it's a male baby, this is actually the penis you can see and posterior to the penis, the three hyperechogenic lines actually are the skin of the scrotum and the septum within. The scrotum skin appears hyperechogenic on ultrasound and the septum within the scrotum also appears hyperechogenic. So this makes the three echogenic lines making you confused with the vagina. This is the kernel section of the thigh. We can see a projected area coming out from the perineum region, which actually is the penis. And in this picture, you can see the three hyperechogenic lines. Actually, this is the same fetus. Now, what is this? So let's check on real time. We can see this is actually the penis of the baby. When we are moving the prop, we can see three hyperechogenic lines are also seen. These are actually the wall and septum of the scrotum. Now, what about the female fetus? The female fetus doesn't have any further part or which may make you confused. The turtle you saw is nothing but the folded umbilical cord at the angle. Fetal umbilical cord will confuse you about the penis of the baby. Let's see on the picture. Here you can see the angle and three hyperechogenic lines indicating the vagina. And we can see something at the angle. Actually, these structures are umbilical cord. Now see on real time. So this is the angle and these structures are umbilical cord making you confused. How to solve this? Now again that V-shaped coronal section of the thigh and you are actually confused. What you have to do is not to tilt or rotate your transducer. Just move it away from the fetal body to the opposite side and you will find the accurate one. You see this is the fetal body. Here we have put our transducer to see this coronal section of the thigh. Just move the probe away from the fetal body to the opposite side and now we will see what happens. What we actually are doing? This is the coronal cut. This is how our transducer is making the sound and image. It is taking the section of this part which is at the level of thigh and we are actually trying to see the inferior parts of the perineum. So we have moved the transducer away from the body and now we can see the inferior part of the perineum. We are not focusing on between thigh. We are now focusing inferior parts of the perineum. This is the coronal section we were taking and now we want to take the inferior part of the perineum. If it is a male fetus, then we will be able to see the fetal scrotum now. You may see testis within that too. The picture will come like these ones on the right side. You may see an oval shaped scrotum. You may see the septum inside. You may also see testis. 
and you may also see the penile part. Now I can show you this picture. After moving the probe air from the body, we can't see the fetal thigh and we can see the fetal scrotum. We can see the penile part and testes are also seen within the scrotal cavity. I'm just moving the probe air from the body and after seeing the thigh, I have moved the transducer. You can see the scrotum and penis are well visualized now. Again, another case, this is the femur, air from the body and scrotum and penis are well visualized. So that's a quite easy procedure. Take a look, amniotic fluid amount is quite normal in these cases. Again, fetal thigh, femur, air from the body and we can see the scrotum of this baby. Okay, now what about the female fetus? If it's female, then fetal labia majora will be easily visualized. It will look like two separate hyperechogenic areas. There will be a gap between these two hyperechogenic labia majora. Echogenic vaginal lining may also be seen in between them. So the picture will look like any of these. You may see two hyperechogenic labia majora. You may also see the vaginal canal in between them. Sometimes you may see the triple hyperechogenic areas, that is the vagina. In this picture, you can see I have moved the transducer air from the body and I can see this hyperechogenic labia majora and the tiny echogenic vaginal lining in between them. Let's check on real time. So femur towards the body, air from the body. Now you can see the labia majora and echogenic vaginal lining. So it's quite simple, just move the probe air from the body without any rotation and tilting. Again another case, this is the femur, move the probe air from the transducer and you can easily see the vagina and the labia. You can also see the umbilical cord beside the vagina. Another case, the femur. We are just moving the transducer air from the femur and we can see the triple hyperechogenic lines more prominently and definitely this is female fetus. Remember the amniotic fluid volume should be quite good to see these views. So that's it. It's quite easy. Remember that it's a slow learning curve so you need to practice more. Let's see some cases from my practice. I hope if you are a beginner, then it will help you. My main target is to make you more confident about the fetal gender. I want to make your eyes more confident. So let's start. So this is a case we can see the femur and um, move the transducer air from the body and we can see this is the scrotum and tiny penis. And this is the umbilical cord adjacent to it. Now this is another case, so we can see we're moving the transducer air from the body and fetal labia are well visualized. Now you can see the fetal scrotum here, this is the septum and this is the penis of the baby. This is the prominent hyperechogenic line. This is actually the vaginal lining. Now this is the scrotum of the baby and this is the penis and the baby is moving a lot. This is actually the femur and we can see the cross section of the leg. In this video, you can see a tiny scrotum and the penis out here. Baby is moving a lot. This is the umbilical cord.
in this video we are moving the transducer air from the body and you can see this the scrotum and penis we can see two labia majora here Here you can see a scrotum, a tiny penis. We are moving the transducer air from the body and trying to adjust a better view. Here you can see the scrotum when we move the probe air from the body. A few fluid collection is seen within unilateral scrotal cavity indicating hydrocele. The labia majora is well seen here as two hyperechogenic areas. You can see the scrotum and penis here, and we are moving the transducer. Here you can see the scrotum, unilateral hydrocyl is also noted. And this is umbilical cord just in front of that. Fluid is slightly diminished out here. We can see the triple hyperechogenic lines indicating the vagina of the baby. We can see the femur of this baby. And in between two thighs, we can see triple hyperechogenic lines indicating the female fetus. Here you can see cross section of the leg. We are going out from the body and we can see the scrotum and penis of the fetus. Here in this picture, you can see the scrotum and penis quite well, and hydrocele is also seen. Unilateral hydrocele is very common. We usually don't see these things after delivery. Here I had put Doppler to see the micturation of the fetus. Anyway, this is the vagina of the baby. Here we are moving our transducer to see a good view and in between the thigh we can see the projected penis. Turtle sign is present so this is a male fetus. In between two thighs, we can see the scrotum and penis of the baby. So we are moving the transducer air from the body and we can see triple hyperechogenic line. This is the vagina of the baby. Now we are moving the transducer air from the body and scrotum and penis are well visualized. The scrotum and uh, unilateral hydrocele is again visualized. Here we are moving the transducer air from the body and you can see hyperechogenic labia and vagina in between them. We are moving the transducer air from the body and the scrotum and penis are visualized.
Here we are moving the transducer air from the body and this is the scrotum, so male fetus. Here we are moving the transducer air from the body and three hyperechogenic lines are well visualized here, so female fetus. Again, body of the baby, baby is moving a lot and air from the body. Here you can see the penis of the baby. Just check carefully, you can see the penis and scrotum here. Again, the scrotum of the fetus. These are the labia, well visualized when we are moving the transducer. Three hyperechogenic lines are well visualized here. So this is a female fetus. Again, three hyperechogenic lines well visualized after moving the transducer air from the body. We have got scrotum and penis when we have moved the transducer air from the body after getting femur. Here we can see the femur thigh in coronal section and when we just move the transducer, the three hyperechogenic lines indicating vagina are visualized. Here we can see the scrotum and part of penis. Again, we can see the scrotum and penis. We can see the scrotum in between two thigh. We can see the scrotum and penis. This is the femur and when we put the transducer air from the body, we can see a part of the penis of the baby. We can see the penis and a scrotum here. Here we can see three hyperechogenic lines indicating vagina. So this is the femur and air from the body we can see the scrotum. We can see penis of the baby. The fluid is diminished, so it's quite difficult to see. Now some practice cases. Just you try to understand what it could be and we will see the answer. Hope it will help you when you try in your practice life. This is scrotum and penis. It looks quite confusing to us. This is the area where we want to look for. This is the penis of the baby. In between two thighs, there's a labia. 
I think you will understand what these are two hyperechogenic areas and a tiny echogenic linear area indicating the labia and the vaginal lining. In between two thighs, you can see the turtle sign. So, this is actually a male baby. Easy one to hyperechogenic area. You see there is a gap in between them. These are the labia. You can see the scrotum and a small amount of fluid collection is also seen. Here another picture of a scrotum and this is the cross section of the leg. I think very easy picture. This is scrotum and this is penis. Another case, this is scrotum and this is penis. So what it would be? This is penis and this is scrotum. This is the turtle sign. You can see something coming out from the angle. So this is penis. This is the area where we want to look for two hyperechogenic areas. There is a gap in between them. So these are labia. In between two thigh, a projected area coming out. So this is penis of the baby. This is the scrotum and penis of the baby. And you can see umbilical cord and cross section of the leg. Here we can see the turtle sign indicating male fetus. So this is a scrotum and penis. This is umbilical cord entry to them. So you can see the placenta and this is the scrotum of the baby. You can see two hyperechogenic areas and a gap in between them. So definitely these are labia indicating female fetus. So this is the scrotum here. So this is a male baby. This is the angle. Nothing is getting projected here. Area behind and the angle is the perineum with tiny echogenic lines indicating the vagina. This round structure is definitely the scrotum. So this is the scrotum and penis. This is the cross section of the leg. Three hyperechogenic lines, a very easy thing, vagina. Looks confusing. Look at here. This round structure is definitely scrotum. It looks like a turtle. So this is scrotum, this is the testis and this is the penis. This is the cross section of the leg with two bones, tibia and fibula. This is the scrotum and this is penis. So this is a scrotum, part of penis. This is the testis. These are two hyperechogenic areas and a gap in between them. So this is labia. So this round ball shaped structure is definitely scrotum. This structure is the scrotum. So here you can see the section of the thigh and in between them this is the projected turtle sign indicating male fetus. This is the scrotum and penis. Another picture of the scrotum. Two hyperechogenic small areas indicating labia. Three hyperechogenic areas, this is actually vagina. This is scrotum and penis. This is umbilical cord. This is the turtle sign out here.
This is the scrotum of the baby. This is the scrotum of the baby. Another picture showing a scrotum and penis of the baby. This is umbilical cord. It looks like a scrotum. It looks like a labia. What it could be? These two hyperechogenic structures are labia actually and this is the vagina. May confuse you. So the total sign is present. Definitely this is a male baby. This is a sponge-like area and this is umbilical cord. So this is actually the female baby. You can see scrotum here and penis and umbilical cord. This is the scrotum and this is the penis of the baby. These two echogenic areas are labia. So you can see the angle clear and three hyperechogenic lines behind that indicating the female baby. Here you can see easily these two are the labia. You can see the penile part and the scrotal part out here. This is the scrotum and penis. Again, this is part of a scrotum and penis. Here you can see the scrotum. Here you can see the scrotum and penis. Here you can see hyperechogenic areas with a gap in between. So definitely this is labia. This is round ball shape structure, definitely scrotum. Here another picture of a scrotum. You can see part of testis here and this is actually penis. Another picture of a scrotum. Here another picture of scrotum and penis. Here two hyperechogenic areas and a gap in between, so these are actually labia. Here you can see the scrotum with any quick areas inside indicating bilateral hydrocele. These three echogenic lines are the vagina. Don't make this round structure as scrotum. This round structure is the cross section of the leg. We can see the turtle sign. This is the penis. This is the scrotum of the baby. Here you can see hyperechogenic lines separated by an aniquic area indicating labia. This is the scrotum and penis. Here we can see the penile part and a scrotal part indicating male baby. Here you can see three hyperechogenic lines indicating vagina, so this is a female baby. Again, three hyperechogenic lines. Hip is adducted. Here you can see three hyperechogenic lines indicating vagina. The angle is clear here and three hyperechogenic lines behind that indicating female fetus. This is the projected turtle indicating male baby. This is the penis of the baby. Again, penis of the fetus. Two hyperechogenic areas. These are the labia. This is the umbilical cord containing three vessels. Again, we can see scrotum and penis. Again, scrotum of the fetus.
scrotum and penis. To hyperechogenic labia, there is a gap. Again, scrotum of the fetus. Again, labia. Scrotum and penis, these are the umbilical cords. So beautiful scrotum and penis. Again, total sign, this is penis and this is a scrotum. In front of the penis, there is an umbilical cord. Again, penis and a scrotum, testes are seen within the scrotal cavities and umbilical cord is seen. This is the round scrotum. Three hyperechogenic lines, so this is vagina. Again, three hyperechogenic lines. So, three hyperechogenic lines, angle is clear. So, this is a female baby. Again, three hyperechogenic lines, angle is clear, female baby. A scrotum and two testes within the scrotal cavities. Umbilical cord is well seen. This is the cross section of the leg. This is labia and female baby. So angle is clear and hyperechogenic lines. These are vagina. This is labia and female baby. So total sign is well seen tiny penis and scrotum. Total sign, penis, scrotum and umbilical cord here. These are the three hyperechogenic lines. So this is female baby, vagina and enter to it there is a cord. So this is a scrotum and penis, this is umbilical cord. Is a cross section of the leg. Total sign is present, penis and scrotum are seen. Here you can see the scrotum and penis. Three hyperechogenic lines, and this is vagina. You can see scrotum and penis. So this is scrotum and this is penis. Three hyperechogenic lines at perineum indicating female fetus. Echogenic lines indicating female fetus. Again a projected penis. This is the turtle sign and male fetus. This is the penis and scrotum. Again, bigger view of scrotum and penis. This anechoic area is part of umbilical cord. Again, scrotum and penis and you can see one testis here, well visualized. Here you can see a projected area that is penis. Two testes are seen within the scrotal cavities and unilateral significant hydrosyl is seen. Here you can see hyperechogenic labia. Again another picture of labia. Here you can see scrotum and penis. Here a beautiful picture of fetal labia. Total sign, penis and scrotum. 
two hyperecogenic areas and these are labia. Turtle sign is seen and this is penis and male baby. Again a picture of a scrotum and penis. Two testes are seen within the scrotal cavities. Turtle sign and male fetus. So this is the vagina and labial part. Three hyperechogenic lines and female fetus. Again, a part of scrotum with unilateral hydrocele. Again, a round ball shaped scrotum. Two hyperechogenic labia. This is scrotum. Turtle sign and penis of the baby. Scrotum and penis of the baby. This is another picture of a scrotum and penis. Projected turtle sign, penis. Again, turtle sign, male baby. Scrotum and penis. Two hyperechogenic labia. A round ball shaped scrotum. This is umbilical cord. Again, a scrotum. Angle is well visualized, and this is the vagina. Umbilical cord is seen anchor to it. Again, a picture of scrotum. Again, scrotum and penis. Again, scrotum. Another picture of a scrotum and penis. Again, penis. Again, scrotum and penis. Again, turtle sign and umbilical cord. Scrotum and penis. Scrotum and penis. Prominent vaginal lining is visualized. This is labia. So, female baby. This is an erected penis and male baby. This is a scrotum and two testes are seen. This is projected penis, male baby. This is round ball shaped scrotum. A testis is well seen. Beautiful three hyperechogenic lines indicating female fetus. This is the scrotum and male baby. So you can see the scrotum and part of penis not well visualized. This is the turtle sign and penis of the baby indicating male fetus. Prominent vaginal lining and female fetus. This is the scrotum and penis. Round ball shaped scrotum. This is a part of penis. Again, a fetal penis, male fetus. Again, a scrotum. Again, scrotum and partly erected penis. 
to hypericogenic labia. Scrotum and penis. Prominent ecogenic vaginal lining and part of labia are seen. Round ball shaped scrotum with testis is seen. Part of labia is seen. Again, scrotum and part of penis. Two hyperecogenic separated area indicating labia. This is the total sign, so male baby. A separation is seen in between two hyperecogenic areas indicating female fetus. So scrotum, penis and umbilical cord. This is the penis, part of a scrotum and umbilical cord. This is the scrotum and part of penis. So angle is clear and three hyperechogenic lines are well visualized. So female fetus. Again scrotum. Picture of a scrotum. Ball shaped scrotum. Two testes are seen. Scrotum. Again, scrotum. This is the part of umbilical cord. Total sign, male fetus. Again, scrotum. This is umbilical cord. This is a scrotum and partly erected penis. Again, scrotum and penis. A separation is seen, so definitely two hyperechogenic areas are labia. Total sign is seen, male fetus. This is penis and scrotum. Again, a picture of a scrotum. Again, scrotum and part of the penis. Two hyperechogenic areas separated by an anechoic area. Definitely, this is female fetus. Again, a scrotum with hydrosyl. Again, scrotum and penis. Again, scrotum. Scrotum Ball shaped scrotum Scrotum and umbilical cord Scrotum The labia and vaginal lining Scrotum Two testes are seen. This is penis. Two labia are seen. Again, scrotum and penis. Two labia are seen. So, female fetus. These are the labia. Labia and prominent vaginal lining. The scrotum, this is one testis. This is labia. Where to look for? This is the scrotum and this projected area is the penis. Again, a scrotum. 
Okay, the angle is clear and multiple hyperechogenic lines. You can see this is vagina. Turtle sign is present, so male fetus. This is umbilical cord. Again, scrotum. Again, scrotum. Scrotum. Three hyperechogenic lines, vagina, female fetus. Echogenic lines, female fetus. This is the scrotum. Again, a scrotum and penis. This is the projected turtle, male baby. This is a scrotum and penis. Turtle sign, male baby. Three hyperechogenic lines, female baby. Again, scrotum and partly erected penis. Scrotum, two testes are seen. A small amount of fluid is seen unilaterally. Scrotum, testes. Turtle sign, male baby. Again, three hyperechogenic lines, female baby. Again, the vaginal lining is well seen in between two labia. The angle is clearly visualized and multiple hyperechogenic lines are seen at the perineum indicating female fetus. Again, female fetus, three hyperechogenic lines are well visualized. Again, scrotum and penis. This is umbilical cord. Again, scrotum. This is the turtle sign, male baby. Again, scrotum. Turtle sign, penile part of the baby, so male fetus. Again, two hyperechogenic labia, female fetus. Turtle sign is seen, so male fetus. Scrotum and penis are seen, male fetus. Echogenic lines are seen in the perineum indicating female fetus. Part of labia is seen, female fetus. Scrotum is visualized, male fetus. Again, multiple echogenic lines, female fetus. Three echogenic lines are well visualized here. Hip is adducted, female baby. Scrotum is well visualized, unilateral hydrocele is seen, male fetus. Turtle sign is present, male fetus. Labia are seen, female fetus. Scrotum and penis. Three echogenic lines are seen, female fetus. That's all for two dimensional ultrasound gender determination. Now we'll see a few cases of 3D ultrasound. So let's start. 
the first picture what you have to do to make a 3d image is again that coronal section of the thigh then you'll put the 3d and you will see the genitalia with a few adjustments i have separate 3d ultrasound tutorial videos on my channel so you can check those for your understanding now you see this is a two-dimensional image of the perineum region and we can't understand well that this is a scrotum. When we put the 3D ultrasound, this ball-shaped structure is the scrotum. So this is a male baby. Now let's see some other cases. These are the thigh and these two parts are the labia. So this is a female baby. Very much confusing. Let's see some other cases. These two are the labia and you can see the cleft in between. This is a scrotum and penis. This is the V-shaped section of the thigh. Is it much more confusing than the 2D ultrasound? I don't think so. These are the labia and the cleft you can see. Now, what's the fetal gender here? This is the fetal face, part of fetal upper limb. This is the thigh, part of umbilical cord here. And you can see this is the penis and this is the scrotum. Very much interesting, isn't it? That V-shaped section and this is actually the vagina. Again, two labia with the cleft in between. Again, scrotum and penis. Again, no penis out here. And you can see the cleft here. And this is the labia, so female fetus. Again, labia are well visualized and this is gap and female fetus. Now again, a clear view of scrotum and penis. Labia and the gap. Again, scrotum and penis. These are the thigh. This is a part of face. This is upper limb here. These are the labia and the gap in between. That's all for today. I think it will be okay if you are feeling asleep. I hope you can determine the fetal gender just looking at the perineum after watching this video. Please don't forget to make comment about what you have learned from this video and I hope it will be helpful in your practice life. Remember that we are trying to know fetal gender to exclude congenital abnormalities related to fetal genitalia. Don't forget to use your knowledge for patient health. Remember that the amniotic fluid plays an important role for gender determination. If the fluid is very less, then it will be very difficult for us to evaluate the genitalia. Make sure the patient has a good amount of amniotic fluid. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe our channel for more contents and don't forget to make a comment and share this video with your friends. Hope to see you on my next video. Have a nice day.